I have here the components of a vehicle's alternator. We're going to go through each of the components and talk about their responsibility. So this outer portion right here that is aluminum and here and here, this is the housing that houses everything. Inside of this housing I have this assembly right here. This is the stator. You can remember it by its stays. This does not move. Right here, this is the rotor assembly. So this is the rotating part of the alternator. This side right here is connected to the pulley and this rotates with the engine by way of a serpentine belt. On this side of the rotor, I have these two copper rings. These are known as the slip rings. So brushes actually contact one on each of these slip rings. So I'm gonna slip this assembly in here. So it's going to rotate like this because this pulley, so that pulley rides there on the front and then it's bolted down. This is cutaway. Normally you can't see this section. One thing you might have seen is that on the rotor assembly I've got these little bent parts. These bent parts are a fan and so we're going to allow some cooling. I also have a bearing here and then inside the housing there was a bearing that's helping hold the rotor and making sure that it's rotating correctly. So the next part I want to look at the, this back housing. So this back housing goes on top of where the rotor is. So the first of these assemblies are this, these brushes. And the brushes are pushing up against the rotor and allowing current to be able to flow down into the rotor that creates a magnetic field that interacts with the stator. So current is going to flow into the alternator through the brushes, then through the slip rings. The voltage regulator controls how much current flows into the rotor to keep the output voltage stable. So in most vehicles, it's going to be around 14 volts that we're going to be pushing into the rotor assembly. This assembly right here is known as the rectifier. It has posts to connect the stator wires and it takes the alternating current that the stator produces and changes it into direct current, which the battery needs. This is the post then that is connected to the battery in order to charge it. In the olden days, Technicians would disassemble uh, the alternator and repair components inside it. On most modern vehicles, alternator assemblies are less expensive than the labor to repair them, so for the most part you end up changing the whole system. If you start to see some AC ripple voltage on the battery, the battery doesn't like that, and so that means that your rectifier is not working correctly. And then the voltage regulator, it's there to regulate the voltage, so if you're not getting the correct output, you may have a voltage regulator issue. Since it's an entire assembly, typically you're going to replace the entire alternator.